Oh, yeah. So I'm Dakota Meyer. I served in the Marine Corps from 2006 to 2010. Gosh, it just seems so long ago. And then um, I was a sniper operated in Iraq and Afghanistan. So Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Enduring Freedom. Um, yeah, I grew up in Kentucky and here I am now. Now I met... I met you and like here we are. You know what I mean? Like you lost a bet. By far the most. <laughs> like if I look at all the things in my life, I mean I've had kids, Kentucky, I, 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 I've divorces, like you know, engaged, uh, you know, and honestly, the most life changing thing that's happened to me is as me. Shut the hell up. <laughs> right. Well, I can tell you this. Sat Mine, in the room with I, pre- drank beer with the president, <laughs> but, but again, the most life changing thing yeah. I've had happen to me is you. So now I'm one degree of separation from who gave you your Medal of Honor. Was that Obama? It was President Obama. Okay, yeah. but which which president could throw him back better, Trump or Obama? You know, I mean, the only one that would that, that drank with me. So Trump doesn't drink. Did you ever it, drink uh, with Clinton? Uh, no. So he doesn't drink either. Like. Um, I'm listening. And neither does President Bush. Uh, but President Obama, uh, we had a beer in the Rose or in the Rose Garden uh, the night before I got the medal. And um, he so at that time, and I don't know if other presidents did this or not, um, but they made their own beer in the White House. So like they brewed their own beer. Like as a competition? No, I think it was just like maybe I don't know if that was something he enjoyed, or I don't know if maybe it's tradition or whatever. I, I don't I don't know enough about it to like really to really like speak too far into it in depth. But uh we drank what was called the White House honey ale. And um and you know he uh yeah we and did he get all jazz handsy after like two or three of those? So he didn't like he didn't drink the so like the the so we went back there and we're we're going to have a beer and you know so like we go in the Oval Office and I walk in you know how, how are you sir you know and we walk out back into the the Rose Garden and we sit down and you know somebody brings us both a beer they open it up pour it in like this this chilled glass which was it was really good and uh, it was a light beer and so we're drinking I I killed mine you know sure you did and and he's like got 50% left. And he looks at me, you know, we're just having like a casual conversation and he looks at me and he goes, uh, um, he goes, Hey, like Dakota, is it gonna, is it gonna like offend you if I don't finish my beer? And you said, yes. And I said, look, sir, that's, you know, that's, that's a man's decision. And, um, he said, uh, well, let me tell you why. And I was like, okay. He's like, look, he's like, I, when, as soon as I leave here, I've got to go give a speech. And he goes, uh, you know, so I, that, that's why I'm not going to finish it. And I looked at him and I said, <clears throat> well, you know, President Obama, like, to be honest with you, before I give my speeches, I drink 10 or 12. <laughs> and he just Just died. to get the edge off. He just died laughing. <laughs> he just died laughing. But, Was he cool? Yeah. You know, like, look, they're, they're, to be honest with you, like, they're all cool. Right? Like, like behind the scenes, like, they're... They're all cool, right? Okay. Like nice guys. You don't become president by being just an asshole. By being huh? an asshole, right? Like, like it's a you know, you, like you talk about the most intimate job on the planet is the president of the United States, right? And it's like when you think about it, the president of the United States is on. He's on your TV at your kitchen table. He's in your household. I mean, he's literally everywhere it's on the news every day on the news every day right yeah. and so you know to, to to not be likable it, it ain't gonna last very long sure you know? but i'm sure there's a lot of people within orbit of them that you have to deal with too that are probably less enjoyable to be around like their staff you know i'm yeah. sure staff has to run with the sharp sword but i mean they they do right like they have to run with the sharp 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 sword i mean everybody's coming at them right and you talk about in that position like i mean you know what it's like in your position of how hard it is to to decide, like, are people hanging out with you Good because of what you can give them or, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Imagine getting to that level. Sure, where right? everybody only has one thing they want. Yeah, everyone has yeah. a need. I'm yeah. sure even at your level, you're probably yeah. fatigued with the requests of things, right? But Yeah.